walk before. Welcome back to India everybody. We are currently leaving Delhi. We're heading to the Delhi railway station to take an overnight train to Udaipur. So I thought I would make a video showing you everything that we're gonna get up to, what it's like. The backpacking train is following behind me. We're making our way in. I don't really know anything about this train and some people are quite nervous. I'm just excited to get on and see what it's like and I will show you all around, including the bathrooms, the sleeping situations. Let's see what we're in for. We're on it for like 12 hours. It's gonna be an interesting night. Oh my God, we're in a hurry and now we all have to put our backpacks through the machine when we've just put them on again. The train leaves in five minutes. I thought it was at six. Oh my God, I've been giving myself a heart attack. I was like, we're not all gonna get down there in five minutes. <sighs> Thank God, I can relax now. Train platform number five. I don't even know what number that is. Feels like proper backpacking now. Are you excited? Hey, super excited. <laughs> I think some people are not. Everybody will have a great time. <laughs> I think it's going to be like a big sleepover. It's going to be fun. Everybody will have the best train journey of their life tonight. <laughs> we'll see what we say by the end. Oh my God. If I die. I love you, Mum. How's this be too? Is this be too? Yeah. Oh, so this is our coach. This is what our train looks like. So we've all been assigned seats, but Suri said that again? some people might have random people in with them. Here we go. I'll follow her. She's got her puffer jacket on. She's ready. Oh my God. We're on. Wow. Oh I haven't walked before. <laughs> we are on the Chetak Express from Delhi to Udaipur that takes around 12 hours. We're in AC3 tier, which means the beds are stacked three high. Each little compartment has eight beds, two on this wall and six on this wall. Our tour guide had booked us all in the top two beds as the bottom ones have the least space. This is my bed up here. <laughs> the luggage goes underneath the bottom bed, but obviously keep your valuables in the bed close to you. This is the bed in the sitting position for the day and at night time the attendant will flip the back of the seat up to make the middle bed and attach it to the hanging ropes. Oh, the back of it flips up. Yeah, the back of it flips up. In the bed, my one's top bunk. Yeah, my one's top bunk as well. So we'll be across from each other. Read the seat number. What seat are you? That's It'll be fine. What seat are you? Right here. Your bag goes. We've got each other. Are you with us, Megan? 26, I think. Yes. Yeah, you're in the middle one here. Oh, welcome to the party. Hello. <laughs> this is fucking horrible. This is how I know. It'll be fun. Yeah. It's like a sleepover with strangers. Random men. Yeah, it's fun. It's okay. Suri's yeah, looking after us. Always. Oh we? There were nine of us in the group, so five got their own little compartment, but me and three other girls were in a compartment with two strangers and there is no doors or even a curtain for privacy. This is where you get on and where the toilets and the bins are. There is soap, but I would also bring your own hand sanitizer with you and toilet roll or tissues as there is none. I went to the toilet as soon as we got on and then I didn't drink much so that I didn't have to go again as they were not in the best condition. That toilet experience was interesting, but the the Indian one is literally just a squatty potty on the floor. So we went into the western one and thank god I've got some hand sanitizer. But Suri is going to see if he can hopefully swap some of our seats because we just don't really feel that comfortable sleeping in that area with those two men that we don't know obviously. We're all girls but if we can't get anyone to swap then we're just going to have to suck it up. But I don't really know what to do about pyjamas because I don't really want to get changed in there. And I also don't really want to get changed with those men that we don't know. So, interesting night. Yeah. Once it gets mucky, it won't be pleasant. It's not great now. It's clean, but it smells. Yeah, I would really recommend going now. They do, they do have soap in there. But, but there's no, no toilet paper. 
Yeah, you need to carry your toilet papers. Yeah, That's yeah. why I told you. Make sure you have your toilet papers. Hi guys. You're not gonna like it. It's it's clean. See the bathrooms. If you're going to the bathrooms, make sure you carry your toilet rolls with yourself. There are no toilet rolls in there. We've just oh, left the station. We've just started moving, and it is 6:25. So if we were meant to leave at half past or 35 past, we're leaving early, which wouldn't bode well if you were running late. I didn't really want to take my makeup off with my cleansing balm and my flannel in the bathroom. So luckily, Helena's brought baby wipes. So we are literally all <laughs> washing our faces with the baby wipes so i hope it takes my makeup off I'm taking my hoodie out of the bag as well because i think the aircon is going to be blasting and it might be a cold night still don't know what i'm going to do about my jammies but it's an adventure it's an adventure girls i'm going to look like i've been on like a four day bender at the end of this journey can i film you taking your makeup off <laughs> With the Disney, with the Disney baby wipes. At around 8pm we called the attendant over to make up the beds so that we could lie down without strangers next to us and we were given a sheet, a pillow and a blanket. We're in our beds, me and Helena are top bunk, but we've actually got the most room out of everyone so we've got top bunk, middle bunk and then bottom bunk down there, the man's just making the beds up. Suri and one of the men from the bottom bunks kindly held up this sheet as we changed into some pyjamas underneath our own sheets so that we didn't get changed in the bathroom. I just pulled some leggings on but make sure you have your things accessible in a little day bag so you're not rooting around in your bag as once it's under the seat it's a real hassle to get out again. There's a cup holder on the top bunk and there is plug sockets but when we tried these they didn't seem to work so make sure you have a portable charger and also download some shows and music as you won't have much service after you leave Delhi. We turn the lights to this blue colour and we tried to get to sleep. Good morning. It's 10 to 6 and I have woken up but nobody else is awake. see the ladders here are vertical with not much to hold on to so this clip of me getting down without my shoes on honestly lasted about three whole minutes. Not looking my best. Good morning girls. <laughs> We're trying to sort all of our bags and everything out. It's a bit chaotic. It's seven o'clock 
we've just made it off the train. I didn't want to film because I don't know if you can see how you get off the train, but I needed both hands to manoeuvre that. It's a straight drop, so I wasn't going to risk it trying to film. But we're off now, making our way to the hotel. And I don't think we could check in straight away, so this is going to be an interesting morning. But we've made it to Udaipur. Look at the sunrise, it's so pretty. I'm not going to lie, some parts of that train stank so badly. And also, this station stinks. <laughs> Let go! The coach just dragged her suitcase up all of those stairs. There's a lift right here. Which, which would you rather right now, suitcase or backpack? But there was a lift. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't see that. Hindsight is 2020. There's escalators now, we'll be fine. Stop. Slightly chaotic for seven o'clock in the morning, but you've always got to walk on the lift. Otherwise you will get run over by the cars and the tuk-tuks and the motorbikes. We're single file walking on the lift. I look so tired. Are you going to Alright, come. Okay. to check in it actually wasn't that long it's now 20 to 9 so we didn't have to wait too long but we've just walked into our room this is so nice we've got little like four poster beds these look so cool oh we've got a little like chaise long we've got water a tea coffee station he's dropping megan's bag off danya we've got a safe a laundry bag somewhere to put your massive suitcase it oh, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, the book it's oh. <laughs> maybe for like helping it wash down the drain. Yeah. Apart from that. It's yeah. It's a heating button. Apparently, to turn the heating on. Okay. Then you're going to turn it on. Little hairdryer. Yeah. That's what you said. Oh, should we turn it on now yeah, then? Turned it on now. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Oh, it looks clean. So, yeah. Yeah, a little bathroom. Oh, this hotel is absolutely gorgeous. When we got here, we had breakfast on the rooftop. <laughs> And there is a gorgeous like rooftop terrace where we all got photos so i will show you at some point there but we all got pictures but i hope i can get a nicer picture because i do not feel my best right now i need to brush my teeth i need to have a shower i need to do some laundry so i'm going to take these bags off put my laundry in at reception and then we're going to head out to do some activities today in Udaipura. how did you find the train megan I didn't really get much sleep. Before, no. But it was it was okay. But you're you're a light sleeper, I guess. <laughs> I thought it was okay, but it was just the fact that there was those two men underneath us, which I guess can't be helped. But also, Suri tried to get them to move to to empty beds, but they didn't want to move, which is fine. It's their right, but it just seems a bit odd to us. And I'm me not and snore very loud. yeah, me and Megan have been on the overnight trains in Vietnam before. So there's been like six people in those carriages, but they had a little door or like the ones in Thailand have got curtains. Whereas these ones were just like completely open. Like anyone could be watching you sleep in the corridor as they go past. But apart from that, 
It was fine. I've heard that the Indian sleeper trains can sell out, so if you wanted to do something like this, I feel like you would need to book it in advance. One of the men that I talked to on the first day said that, did I have some sort of pass when I told him I was doing an overnight train to Udaipur? So maybe if you wanted to do that, I would look into that in advance. And also my colleague at work wanted to do an overnight train and she left it to last minute and then she got put on a waiting list. And then they said that she could do it only two hours before the train was meant to depart and they'd already booked an internal flight at that point so they didn't even end up taking the overnight train so it definitely was an experience i'd say i'm glad i've done it are you not yeah you know another experience yeah different types of trains different countries yeah exactly and i think train travel is something that interests a lot of people especially like sleeper trains so i'm glad i've done it however yeah we didn't see any other tourists I think, on the train at all. And I'm glad I've done it, but <laughs> I don't know if I'll do it again. We've got the bus for the rest of the time in India. That, yeah, I've been there, done that, ticked it off the list, got the t-shirt, made the vlog, so now you all can see the experience. If you have any questions about the train, pop them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for a brand new video. Bye, guys! <laughs>